The movie starts off with a girl. She looks extremely tired and has almost given up on life. The girl's name is Maka, and she's 29 years old, but she has never had any adventure in her life. Because of this, her life is very boring, and she starts to look for excitement. Maka has two best friends, Adriana and Helena. The three best friends decide to get a tattoo together to celebrate their friendship. They are very close to each other and are always there for one another. While getting the tattoo, Adriana gets very scared and tries to back out, but her friends encourage her to complete it. They also make her laugh to distract her, and that's when Adrian's life story is shown. Adriana is also 29 and has a very wonderful husband, Julian. They have a very healthy relationship, but Julian just cannot satisfy her physical needs. Therefore, she always tries to avoid being intimate with him. This leads her to believe that she's actually asexual. Maka and Helena try to convince her that Julian just isn't good at satisfying her, but Adriana doesn't want to listen to them because she loves her husband a lot. On the other hand, Helena is obsessed with a boy named Santi. Helena used to date Santi until he was put to eternal sleep in a hit and run accident, about 11 years ago. Since then, she has tried almost every single way to reconnect with him because she really used to love him. She even visited various countries to learn about their culture and understand black magic. Helena wants to bring Sandy back to life and date him just like they used to. She is so attached to Sandy that she never fell for anyone after him. On the other hand, Maka keeps dating multiple guys. She doesn't want to have an emotional attachment to anyone in her life, so she just makes love to them and tosses them aside. One day, Maka goes on a date with a very handsome man. He is a reckless individual, but she doesn't mind because all she wants is to sleep with them. They start to make out in his car when the guy plays a song. The song triggers Maka, and she asks him to stop it but the guy doesn't listen to her at all. This causes Maka to have a breakdown because she starts to remember her past. In the past, Maka dated a guy named Leo. She loved him a lot and wanted to marry him in the future. But due to various circumstances, Leo and Maka had to separate. Maka couldn't take this and started to become cold-hearted. She couldn't trust anyone and was even afraid to form an emotional bond with men. This is the reason she hates being in a committed relationship. The song starts to really bother her, so she turns it off. She takes a moment to calm down and goes back to kissing the man in front of her. The next day, Maka goes to work. She is the assistant of a very famous influencer named Pipa. Pipa is a very selfish woman who doesn't care about anyone but herself. She is a diagnosed psychopath and uses this very excuse to completely exploit people. Maka had always been a very big fan of Pipa, which is why she was so excited to work for her. Even though she had been warned before by Pipa that she was a very ruthless woman, Maka didn't care. All she wanted was to work for her idol. But soon enough, Maka started to realize her mistake. She started to get exhausted by Pipa's behavior. Maka gets paid next to nothing while having to handle Pipa's tantrums and also work for her. She has to manage all of her meetings, messages, and speeches, and even has to post on social media for Pipa while getting no credit. Even then, Maka tolerates it all. As she reaches her workplace, she is told that she cannot eat anything in front of Pipa. She has to wear high heels all the time and dress fashionably just so Pipa can brag about her employees to others. Since Pipa loves maintaining her figure, she sometimes doesn't eat at all. This means that even Maka can't eat anything so as not to entice her. Maka has to go to the restroom and eat quietly to make sure Pipa doesn't find out. The next day, Pipa and Maka go to a very prestigious party. Pipa is also a nominee in this award show. During the show, Maka has to handle everything. She tells Pipa how to pose and even posts pictures for her. Somehow, Pipa ends up winning an award for best influencer. She goes up on stage and recites the speech that Maka wrote for her. But instead of thanking her, Pipa completely ignores Maka. This hurts Maka a lot. She runs to the bathroom, and that's when she realizes that she's on her period. Desperate, she shouts to the other occupants if they have a tampon or pad. Luckily, she is greeted by Raquel, who's also a very famous influencer, and celebrity. Raquel helps her and even compliments how beautiful she looks. Maka feels good to hear that. She finally feels appreciated. Unlike Pipa, Raquel is actually very nice and cares about other people a lot. She tells Maka to stand her ground and work for herself. Raquel pities Maka for being exploited and tells her that she's very talented and she should work for herself. Maka thanks Raquel for the advice and walks away. She then goes to Pipa. Maka asks Pipa if she can go home now since she's very tired, but instead of granting her the leave, Pipa insults her and calls her useless in front of her. Maka is devastated, and she runs away. She hates Pipa and complains to Adriana and Helena about how she is being treated. Maka starts crying while walking down the street. That's when she sees Raquel. To her surprise, Raquel's new boyfriend is none other than Leo. As if her day hadn't already been ruined, Maka breaks down after seeing the happy couple. It's been years, and Maka still hasn't been able to forget Leo. She runs away from there and goes straight to her apartment. There, Maka sobs uncontrollably and remembers every moment that she spent with Leo. She really loved him, and their connection was so strong that Maka never thought he'd leave her. She honestly thinks that she can never be happy now, and that there is something wrong with her for him to just walk out on her. Maka wanted to marry Leo, but one day, he just disappeared. He left without a word and never even looked back. 
He also never apologized for hurting her. Maka is so upset that she calls Adriana and Helena, crying. She tells them everything and spends the entire night wailing. The next day, Adriana and Helena rush to her apartment and try to console Maka. They assure her that everything will be okay and drag her out of bed. Then, the two girls dress Maka up, and together, they all go to a cafe. They start talking about everything that had happened the other night. All of them have problems of their own that they can't seem to solve. Maka tells them how much she misses Leo but can never have him back. That's when she realizes that she's just hurting herself. She promises her friends that she will change and become a new woman. Maka refuses to cry for Leo any longer. The three best friends then hug each other and part ways. Right at that moment, Helena sees a very attractive guy walking around with his skateboard. She starts running after him because Santi also owned a skateboard. Helena is convinced that the guy before her is a reincarnation of Santi. She follows him to his workplace, and that's when she realizes that he is a physiotherapist. Helena pretends to have really hurt her back and starts wailing in pain, so that she can meet the physiotherapist. The guy, Samuel, sees Helena in distress and agrees to check on her. He takes her to his checkup room and tells her that she needs another appointment in order to get better. Helena starts flirting with Samuel and tries to find out if he has anything similar to Santi. It turns out that Samuel has all the same hobbies as Santi. Because of this, she is convinced that Samuel is actually a reincarnation of Santi. Helena goes home happily, thinking she has now found the love of her life. On the other hand, Maka goes to work while being extremely tired. She hasn't slept all night and tries to be as punctual as possible. When she reaches Peepa's home, she is shocked to see another man there. He's wearing an outfit that Peepa would actually like. That's when Maka realizes that Peepa has hired a new assistant. She goes to her boss's office, hurt and upset. She questions Peepa about why she fired her, but Peepa is unconcerned. All she does is mock Maka and order her to leave her house. Maka does so without a word. She is extremely rude and bitter towards the new assistant and storms out of the office. Maka goes straight to Adrian's workplace, which is a wedding boutique. Adriana is an assistant there who is helping a bride get ready. As she does so, Maka and she start talking about their love lives. That's when Adriana reveals that even though she has tried everything, she just can't get attracted to Julian. Maka starts to give her advice, but then they hear a loud scream. They look at the bride, who seems to be very upset. She's crying, and Adriana runs up to her. Maka joins them as well, and that's when she finds out that the bride can't seem to fit into her dress. She takes this opportunity to provoke the bride and persuade her into not marrying. She starts telling the woman all the downsides of marriage. Adriana stops her midway and asks her not to discourage the bride. Maka agrees and goes back home. There, she gets a call from Raquel, who tells her that she has an exhibition coming soon. Raquel requests that Maka attend the exhibition as well. A lot of celebrities and media will be attending, which could help Maka boost her career. Maka thinks about it a lot. One part of her wants to go and start a new life, but the other part thinks it's a really bad idea. Since Leo is going to be there, Maka doesn't want to attend, but then she realizes that she needs to move on. She can't keep making decisions based on Leo. Finally, Maka attends the exhibition while making sure Leo doesn't see her. She finds Raquel and congratulates her on her success. Maka walks around, looking at all the people there, and enjoys herself. As she's looking around, Leo comes up behind her. He calls out to her, and Maka turns around, nervous. All the memories she had of Leo come flooding back, and she can't help but get really emotional. They start talking for a bit until Raquel joins them. Leo tells her that he and Maka had dated a while back, and Raquel just smiles. Maka runs out of there and starts drinking excessively. She just wants to stop thinking about him. But then Leo comes back to her and asks her how she's been doing. Maka starts to get really sarcastic with him, and she even calls him an asshole for leaving her unannounced. Leo gets annoyed as well and asks her to let it go since it's been years. This enraged her even more. He never cared that she loved him so much. She realizes that he only used her to get rid of his loneliness. Leo walks out, and that's when Maka throws a ball at him but misses. Embarrassed, she runs out of the party. She meets Raquel at the entrance and takes this moment to ruin Leo's love life. Maka tells Raquel everything about Leo and even talks about how he ghosted her. Leo comes just then, and so Maka storms out of there. While Maka tries to hurt Leo, Helena tries to woo Samuel. She goes to meet him under the pretense of an appointment and tries her hardest to seduce him. Helena finally musters up all the courage she has and asks him out, but Samuel is hesitant. She doesn't want to date his client since that would make the physiotherapy sessions really awkward. Nonetheless, Helena persists, and Samuel finally gives in. He agrees to a drink and nothing more. But then, one thing leads to another, and they end up making love. The two then start to get really close. On the other hand, Adriana is fed up with not being satisfied physically. Having no other option left, she and Julian agree to have a trio pleasure. Adriana is really nervous at first, but they all start to get comfortable slowly. Adriana is surprised to find herself satisfied for the first time in her life. She's happy but also nervous as to how this will affect their relationship in the future. 
Back home, Maka starts to regret everything she did at the party. Just then, her doorbell rings, and she opens it to find a delivery boy. He hands her a big bouquet along with a letter. Maka is shocked to see this and wonders who sent it to her. The delivery boy finally apologizes and leaves her house. The bouquet reads a message offering condolences for Maka's lost dignity. Maka already has an idea as to who sent it to her. She hurriedly opens the letter, and it's from none other than Leo. He's told her to screw herself in the letter, along with several other insults. Maka is furious after reading the letter and decides that it's time to get revenge. She wants to ruin Leo's life, so she goes to the university where he works as a professor. In class, Leo tells his students to prepare a paper and starts talking about various literary writings. Amongst all of this, Maka begins to make really snide remarks about him. She gets really sarcastic and eventually provokes the whole class to go against their professor. She manages to prove Leo is a misogynistic professor who's really selfish, and thus, the whole class storms out. They all even threaten to fire him, with Maka being the first one to do so. Having had her revenge fulfilled, Maka walks back home satisfied. However, Leo pulls her into his office midway through. He asks her why she did all that to which she replies that it's her revenge. Leo then reveals that Raquel has stopped trusting him, and Maka laughs at that. The two get into an argument and start insulting one another, but soon their true feelings come out. The air gets really awkward as the two start getting closer. Maka tries to come back to her senses, but then gets seduced by Leo. She isn't completely over him yet, so she is drawn to him. Leo takes this opportunity to kiss her. Maka thinks that Leo has finally realized his mistake, but it turns out that he just wanted to get back at her. After the kiss, Leo just laughs and makes fun of Maka for being stuck in the same place for years. Being mocked like this devastates Maka, and she just runs out crying. She can't handle it any longer, and that's when a flashback starts. The flashback shows Leo and Maka together. The couple had just decided to move in together, but then Leo vanished the day they found a new apartment. Maka tried calling him a lot, but he just hung up on her and left the country. This really left a lasting impact on Maka because she really did love him. Leo left her stranded without any explanation, which made her really hate him. Maka goes back to Pipa for the job because she hasn't found a new one yet. Pipa takes her right back, and the two go to Madrid for work. Maka just wants to forget Leo and distract herself, which is why she has decided to join Pipa once again. The two board the plane, and instantly, Pipa starts criticizing Maka. In turn, Maka asks Pipa to respect her a bit more since she's a human too, but Pipa doesn't care. She orders Maka to handle and manage all her schedules, which Maka agrees to do. But as she's looking through Pipa's work schedule, turbulence occurs. Maka thinks nothing of it until the turbulence starts getting more nerve-wracking. Pipa starts screaming and shouting, thinking she's going to die, but even then, she asks Maka to make a video of her. Pipa wants people to witness her last moments and records herself crying to gain more views. Maka just rolls her eyes at Pipa's antics and looks away, but that's when she sees something unexpected. She sees Leo sitting in front of her. He looks back at her and smirks. Angry, Maka storms up to him and asks him what he's doing there, but Leo just smirks. He talks about how she has not forgotten him after so long, and even comments on how she remembered him before anyone else when the turbulence hit. Maka tries to defend herself by saying that she hates him, but Leo doesn't believe it. Instead, he asks her to join him in the bathroom, where they make love. Maka is instantly drawn to him and agrees, but as soon as they enter the washroom, she gets out and locks Leo inside. Leo bangs on the door, asking to be let out, but Maka just laughs. Everyone on the plane stares at her, and that's when she tells them all that she only did all this because Leo deserves it anyway. She smiles, but suddenly gets jerked awake by Pipa. Leo being inside the plane had only been a dream, and all of it was Maka's imagination. She curses herself for thinking about Leo after all this in size. After the trip, Maka tells Adriana and Helena everything. The two girls rush to Maka's apartment in order to make sure she's okay. They ask her what happened, and Maka explains everything. But then she says that it is all in the past. She claims that since she locked him away, he won't bother her anymore. Adriana counters by saying that even though she locked him away, he's still in her mind. That's when Maka promises to move on, and that whatever happened between the two will never be repeated again. The three best friends start to talk about all the other things happening in their lives. Just then, the topic of Adriana and the trio pleasure comes up. Adriana blushes while thinking about it, but Maka and Helena ask her to go into detail about everything that happened. Adriana shyly tells them all about it, and that's when Maka asks about how this has affected her relationship with Julian. Adriana goes silent for a moment and starts reminiscing about all the times she had trio pleasure. She has actually started to grow quite fond of the girl. Julia, which is just complicating her life even more. She talks about how she fantasizes about Julia, which has made her really confused. Maka and Helena listen to her carefully and then ask her to leave Julian. They tell Adriana to start a new relationship with her new lover, but Adriana doesn't want to do so. Even though she is physically attracted to Julia, she still loves Julian a lot. 
To defuse the situation, Adriana asks Helena about her relationship with Samuel, to which Helena confesses that she has already broken up with him. Maka asks her why she did so, to which Helena just replies that the reason for their breakup was Samuel's love for hamsters. Sandy hated hamsters, whereas Samuel just loves them. This made Helena realize that Samuel was not Santi because she had abandoned him. Maka and Adriana can't stand Helena's obsession with Santi anymore, so they come up with an idea. They hire an actor to act just like Santi and seduce Helena. They then want him to break her heart while impersonating Santi so that Helena can come to her senses. The actor, whose name is George, does exactly as told and pretends to have all the same likes and dislikes as Santi. As soon as Helena meets him, she is convinced that she has finally found him. She instantly falls for him and kisses him deeply. Helena then texts Maka about it, and she just smiles. But her smile soon fades away when she hears Leo. He comes up to her while walking down the street and apologizes to her. He finally says sorry for everything that he has put her through and asks if they can be friends again, but Maka just says that they can't. Even though he has realized his mistake now, Maka still doesn't want him in her life. Leo understands this and slowly walks away, upset. Maka tries her best to forget about him, and fully focus on the party Pipa has decided to throw. She makes certain that everything is in order and even invites Raquel. After all, they are very close. As she's going to the bathroom, Maka runs into Raquel. Raquel asks her why she's working for Pipa again, to which Maka replies that she has changed now and even gave her an expensive bag as a gift. But it turns out that Pipa only gave Maka the bag because she hated it and just wanted to get rid of it. This makes Maka really upset, and she almost has a breakdown, but Raquel consoles her. Maka then apologizes for everything that she said about Leo. Raquel instantly forgives her, saying that they've actually been working on their relationship, and that it's blooming really well. Maka is internally upset when she hears this, but tries her best to look happy for her friend. That's when Raquel proposes that they have a double date. Maka initially rejects it because she doesn't want to see Leo at all, but she reluctantly agrees after Raquel persists. Adriana, on the other hand, is completely smitten with Julia now. They become very close and almost meet on a daily basis. Helena also gets really close to George. He was supposed to break up with her, but instead, he keeps up the act and continues dating her because he's fallen for her as well. At first, George tries to come off as rude and sarcastic so that Helena gets disgusted by him. But after seeing her support him in everything he does, George actually wants to have a future with her. Everything just gets a lot more complicated than it was supposed to be. After agreeing to the double date, Maka nervously gets ready for the date. She brings along the guy that she's currently dating, whose name is Coke. She tells him how to act and what to say in order to make their relationship more believable. Maka even acts as though she's really in love with Coke to make Leo jealous. The four of them meet and chat casually at first. Maka even lies saying that she's planning to move in with Coke. Leo gets a little uncomfortable after hearing that but brushes it off anyway. Soon enough, the two start getting really comfortable and talk about their time together while giggling. Leo brings up a lot of their good memories, and Maka laughs at them, whereas Coke and Raquel get really awkward. Eventually, Leo and Maka go to the bar together and start drinking. That's when Leo tells her that Coke really isn't the right guy for her. Maka just rolls her eyes. Raquel and Coke join them at that very second, and the couple then part ways with each other. After reaching home, Maka starts to overthink everything. She realizes that her feelings for Leo haven't faded away and decides to ask Adriana for help. But as she's walking toward the latter's apartment, she sees her kissing a girl. Maka is really stunned to see that and runs away quietly. Maka then goes directly to work and starts to organize Pipa's belongings. After a hectic workday, she starts to head out but sees Leo waiting for her. She's really confused to see him and asks him why he's there, to which Leo replies that he wants her help. He claims to want her opinion on contemporary love for an article and asks her if she's open to dinner. Maka hesitantly agrees, and they go to a nice restaurant. There, they start talking about how happy they are together, and Leo even compliments Maka. He tells her that she's absolutely beautiful, and that he's ready to live the rest of his life with the beautiful memories they've shared together. Maka doesn't know what to think of that and keeps quiet. On the other hand, Adriana and Helena wait for Maka to join their girls' night. Helena takes this opportunity to gush about George in front of Adriana who's taken aback to hear all this. She's shocked to hear Helena is so in love with the actor. Adriana then hurriedly texts George as to why he's leading Helena on but much to her dismay, he tells her that he doesn't intend to do so. She is distressed after hearing that and tries to tell Helena the truth, but after seeing her happy face, Adriana decides against it. She can't break her trust like that and just stays silent. The two then walk away. Maka and Leo also part ways for the night, but Leo just can't seem to forget about her. He keeps thinking about her. Even when he's with Raquel, he can't pay attention. This causes him to break up with Raquel. George also tries to break up with Helena after getting multiple texts from Adriana, but he doesn't have the heart to do so. He just ignores Adriana and decides to see where his relationship with Helena leads to. Meanwhile, as Maka is walking home, she gets stopped by Leo. 
He seems really distressed. Maka inquires about his well-being, and that's when he confesses that all he's been thinking about is her. Leo admits that he's still in love with her and that he has broken up with Raquel. He only sees a future with Maka and wants to start over. Maka is stunned to hear all this, but she's also very confused as to what she should do. When she looks into his eyes, she sees love and turmoil. Maka can't control herself any longer and jumps into his arms. She agrees to be with him again, and so the two rush to her apartment. They kiss and make love like they've been craving it for ages. Maka is really happy that she finally has the life she has wanted. She wakes up the next morning and smiles when she sees Leo sleeping next to her. Maka happily dances around the room and then goes to prepare breakfast. She eventually makes a huge breakfast platter but then stops all of a sudden. Maka doesn't want Leo to feel like she's already obsessed with him. She hurriedly makes the breakfast really messy and even starts to act like she doesn't care. Just then, Leo comes up to her, and she offers him breakfast. The two eat together and then finally part ways. During the day, Maka invites Adriana and Helena to Pipa's apartment. She shows them around and assures them that they won't get caught because Pipa is actually out of the country. The three scream out excitedly and try on all of Pipa's expensive clothes. They play loud music and even pretend to be on a runway. After having the time of their lives, they sit in the kitchen and enjoy some really exotic wine. Maka tells her friends to take all the clothes they like from Pipa's closet because she will just never find out. Adriana takes this opportunity to announce that she's trying to get pregnant. She declares that she and Julian are now trying for a baby to take their relationship to the next level. Helena is really happy and hugs Adriana, but Maka is shocked. She knows about Adriana's love for Julia and doesn't understand why Adriana would deliberately ruin it. Nonetheless, she hugs her best friend and congratulates her on the great news. As they're about to walk out, Maka gets a call from a very famous magazine. They tell her that Raquel actually sent them her CV, and they're really hopeful about hiring her. Maka is shocked at first but listens keenly. She's really enthusiastic about joining them, but that's when the magazine head tells her that she'll have to move to Paris for that job. Maka doesn't know what to do and tells them that she'll let them know about her decision in two weeks. After the initial call, Maka tells her friends about the new opportunity. They're really happy for her and decide to celebrate the great news. The two encourage her to join it since this could really boost her career, but Maka isn't really sure of it. She doesn't want to leave Leo just yet. Adriana and Helena continue talking about their lives, but that's when Maka suddenly blurts out that she still loves Leo. The two girls think Maka is joking and laughing, but after seeing Maka's serious face, they're not so sure. Just then, Maka receives a text from Leo saying how much he loves her. Adriana sees the message, and she's shocked. She asks Maka to back out, but Maka doesn't want to listen to her at all. Adriana asks Maka if she's forgotten how much she was hurt after Leo initially left her. Maka tells her that she remembers it all but still wants to give it another shot. Both Helena and Adriana are shocked at her and yell at her for making such a stupid decision, but Maka can't take it anymore. She finally bursts into anger and tells them that she doesn't want to listen to them anymore. She also takes this opportunity to finally confront Adriana. Maka calls Adriana a coward for getting more committed to Julian even though their relationship died years ago. She also tells Adriana that she knows about her and Julia. Adriana is devastated to hear that, while Helena is just confused. Maka tells Helena everything, and she just gasps. Helena then asks if there's anything left to confess, and that's when Maka yells at Helena to get over Santi because he's dead. This really hurts the poor girl, so she pushes Maka into the swimming pool. The three best friends fall out at that moment and walk their separate ways. At home, all three of them miss each other and refuse to talk to one another. Maka goes back to Leo and finds comfort in his arms, while Adriana goes home and cries. She looks at Julian and realizes that there's no spark left anymore. Meanwhile, Helena runs up to George and confesses that she loves him. She kisses him and asks him if he wants to get married. George instantly says yes, and the two start planning right away. Maka gets another call from the famous magazine, asking if she has made her decision, to which Maka replies that she still has a lot of factors to consider. She thinks about it for a long time and decides that she's better off with Pipa and Leo. She doesn't want to leave Madrid just yet. After work, Maka meets up with Leo. There, she tells Leo about the new job, and he instantly lights up. He asks her to join it and talks about how he's so proud of her. He adds that he always knew she'd reach great heights because of how talented she is. Maka tries to tell him about Paris, but Leo is so excited that he doesn't pay attention to her at all. Maka eventually stays silent because she doesn't want to hurt Leo. She goes home quietly and thinks about it all for a very long time. She's really conflicted about what to do, and she doesn't even have her friends anymore. On the other hand, Adriana is just as confused. She's in love with Julia, but she also doesn't want to start over. Julian is really excited to have a baby, but Adriana isn't sure about it anymore. He tells her that he's got everything ready and is even considering applying for paternity leave. Adriana is devastated to see how excited he is, but she gains the courage to open up about Julia anyway. Helena's relationship with George is also going really well. They start planning their future together, but George can't take it anymore. He finally blurts out everything. 
He confesses to Helena about how her friends hired him to break her heart so that she could finally get over Santi. Helena is stunned to hear all this but laughs. She doesn't seem too bothered by it. This gives George some hope, and so he asks her if she still wants to get married to him. He admits that he likes her a lot, but Helena just laughs awkwardly. She finally tells him that they're just better off as friends. George is upset to hear that but understands it. He wishes her all the best, as does Helena. She then runs to Samuel's clinic. Helena realizes how foolish she was to just let go of him. She knocks on his door with flowers in order to woo him. But Samuel is hurt. He doesn't want to get ghosted anymore and ignores her. But Helena is relentless. She keeps on jumping outside his windows with pamphlets talking about how much she loves him and that she wants another chance. Samuel just sighs and walks over to her. Helena apologizes for her wrongdoing, and thankfully, Samuel forgives her. The two kiss and start a new relationship all over again. On the other hand, Maka and Leo also go back to how they were. Leo takes her to the same apartment that they had selected before he left her. He wants to start all over again and wants to live out all their dreams together. He apologizes to Maka for what he did and tells her that he wants to live with her forever. Leo then admits that he wants to see her beautiful face every day. Maka is really happy to hear all that, but that's when she sees the old Leo. She remembers what he did to her. But this time, she understands why he did it. She realizes that Leo never told her anything because she was scared of losing the love that they had. He didn't want to disappoint her, which is why he never faced her. Maka comes back to the present, and she finally musters up the courage to tell Leo that she's going to Paris. She asks him if he'd like to join her, but Leo rejects it, saying he has already started a life here. Maka understands that and breaks up with Leo. But this time, she feels free. She isn't heartbroken. Instead, she's happy that she is now empowered enough to make her own decisions without having to think of others. She runs home and sends Adriana and Helena a message, apologizing and also telling them that she's moving to Paris. Maka tells them to follow their hearts and live the rest of their lives happily. She also promises to always be there for them. Helena and Adriana instantly forgive her, and the three become best friends. Adriana also breaks up with Julian and goes to live with Julia. She wants to be with the one she loves, who just happens to be Julia. Helena also finally lets go of Santi and his memories. She starts a new life with Samuel and is very happy with it. Meanwhile, Maka quits her job after insulting Pippa. She comfortably settles into Paris without having to worry about a single thing. She makes new friends while maintaining contact with Adriana and Helena. As she's standing on a bridge, she sees Leo right next to her. She runs up to him and kisses him. But this was just a figment of her imagination. She doesn't have Leo in her life anymore, and she doesn't need to. 